To understand the electromagnetic spectrum even better, let's look at our Sun. The Sun radiates photons in many colors, but when you add them all up, you get white. We often see movies and pictures of the Sun in gorgeous colors. This is how astronomers visualize the Sun in different wavelengths. They use false color to highlight temperature differences and study huge solar storms. The Sun radiates energy across the entire electromagnetic spectrum. The lowest temperature waves are the radio waves, followed by infrared waves, which some call heat energy. Next are the visual waves, what we see. Getting more energetic, we find the ultraviolet rays. Even more powerful are the X-rays. And finally, gamma rays. They all travel at the speed of light, 186,000 miles per second. A low energy radio wave, for example, may look like it's traveling slower than, say, a much higher X-ray wave. But they both travel at the speed of light. A wavelength is the measure from the top of one wave, the crest, to the next crest. Radio waves are long, X-ray waves are short. Wavelengths are denoted by the Greek letter lambda. The frequency is the number of these crests that pass a certain point over one second. One wave, or cycle per second, is called a hertz. X-ray waves have a high frequency, while radio waves are low. The wavelength times the frequency equals the speed of light. Not all of the sun's radiation reaches us here on the surface of the Earth. The dangerous gamma and X-rays and ultraviolet light bounce off the nitrogen and oxygen molecules in our atmosphere and are reflected harmlessly back into space. A tiny bit of the ultraviolet rays slip through our atmosphere and are dangerous to humans. Notice the sun's visible waves getting through our atmosphere. Human eyes have evolved to see this part of the spectrum because it is the most abundant form of energy that reaches the Earth. Some infrared light reaches Earth and gets trapped by greenhouse gases in our atmosphere. A broad range of radio waves can slip through our atmosphere and reach the Earth's surface. It's been quite an adventure. Talking colors? Yeah, they do that. But they shared some of their causes, and we got to see their remarkable beauty. The electromagnetic spectrum spoke to us too. And we learned much about the invisible universe, energy that races by us and even through us every day. Hey, stay curious everyone. Keep exploring this incredible and colorful universe.